welcome back. Today's video is going to focus on looking at uh, Precambrian rock and overlying Cambrian rock, the Deadwood formation primarily. And we're going to look at the contact, the nature of the contact, uh, the attitude or the orientation of the rocks below, the attitude and orientation of the rocks above. We'll take a look at these materials in hand lens and then uh, we'll do some microscope work as well and that'll be in the video uh, here in a bit. So before we hit the road, I want to look at some kind of some necessary tools that you need if you're going to be out in the field doing some uh, field geologic work. So uh, the first we're going to look at is the geologic map of South Dakota. And this is pretty small, uh, but it's, it's good to carry in the field with you. And uh, this section right over here is the Black Hills Rapid City where we are right now is right in here. And we're going to be heading up, uh, looking at this band of, uh, of rocks right in, uh, right in here. Okay, so again, very hard to see detail on this. So the next thing we want to look at real quick is the uh, stratigraphic correlation chart. And this is just looking at uh, what the rock units are uh, in different uh, regions here locally. So this first column is uh, the eastern Powder River Basin. Second column is uh, the Black Hills, and third column is the Williston Basin to the north. And so we have west, and then the Black Hills, and then uh, further to the north. So if we look at this map right here, uh, Powder River Basin would be over in this area. Uh, then the Black Hills and the Williston Basin uh, extends up into Canada, in fact. So kind of this uh, arc right in here is what we're looking at with these maps. So the Precambrian rocks are these uh, units uh, down at the, the, the base down here. And in the Black Hills, they've been uh, quite well defined, uh, primarily by Jack Redden and his work over uh, several decades. And we're going to be looking at today, we're going to be in these uh, rocks right here, uh, which is the uh, uh, Box Elder Creek Formation and the Blue Draw uh, Gabbro. And then we'll be looking at these uh, undifferentiated uh, schists and phyllites uh, right up underneath the contact with the Cambrian uh, sands. Uh, of the Deadwood Formation. So we're going to be looking up through uh, starting low and working up uh, through this area up here. Uh, the next the next map we're going to look at is uh, Jack Redden and Ed DeWitt's map of the geology of the Black Hills and I've got this kind of folded on my table outside here so it's not the whole thing uh, but it's uh, much, much larger map than what that uh, South Dakota geology was. And so we're going to uh, be starting in uh, Rapid City and we're going to drive up uh, and look at uh, these locations up here. Uh, this is a contact right here with uh, Cambrian Precambrian. Uh, and this is a much older uh, Precambrian sequence right in here. And then we're going to be moving north up to the uh, town of uh, Deadwood and we're going to be looking at a section again of the uh, Cambrian Precambrian uh, contact uh, right in this area up here I believe it is um, it's kind of hard to see in the Sun uh, but we'll again look at those rocks and look at them with microscope uh, and and whatnot so these are kind of the things that we need uh, in the field uh, for reference here's the folder uh, for the USGS uh, maps showing the geology structure and geophysics of the central Black Hills. And this is uh, the late Jack Redden and Ed DeWitt uh, scientific investigation map 2777. And this was uh, 2008, I believe, although I don't see the date right here. Great little booklet uh, comes inside uh, that describes uh, all of the uh, rock units in here and uh, so we're going to be looking in these old uh, early Proterozoic units uh, up until the older Proterozoic. So the Blue Draw uh, Metagabro, uh, 1000 meters thick, we'll look at that out in the field, see what it looks like, we'll look at it under the microscope. Uh, so great publication. This is all online. I'll include a link below to the USGS where you can download these materials. This is a PDF file uh, and the map is available uh, as, as, as plates. 
The other thing that I use uh, quite frequently is an out of print uh, book, one of my favorite books, uh, Mineralogy of the Black Hills uh, by Willard Roberts and George Rapp Jr. This is a 1965 publication. It is a bulletin of the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, uh, bulletin number 18. Uh, this may might be online, I don't know if it is. I know you can't get it in print anymore, but it's a, it's a great book. It goes through, describes mineralogically all the minerals and mineral groups in the Black Hills, gives occurrences, uh, where they're found, all the chemical and physical properties of the minerals. And, and so as we go through these videos and look at uh, different minerals and find different minerals, we'll also be using this book and go through the descriptions and look at these things under a uh, microscope and, and that type of thing. So uh, this is a great reference work uh, for the Black Hills. If you have a uh, hardback, uh, I would suggest uh, hold on to it. Uh, they're, they're a great resource and they're quite rare. Okay, so let's hit the road and let's go exploring. Okay, this location is on the, the Great Unconformity, which is the Cambrian, Precambrian boundary. So the rock right in front of us, you can see how steeply it's dipping. We'll measure it here in a second. It is Precambrian quartzite that is at least one and a half billion years old. And then above it is flat line this way. Okay, so a, this is an angular unconformity. Bedding is here and bedding is here with this steep angle between. And that line right there is the contact between the Cambrian and the Precambrian rock. It represents about one billion years of missing time. So in that missing interval, we had erosion of this surface going on generation of materials and then in the Cambrian period the Deadwood Seas came into the area depositing this basal sandstone of the Deadwood formation. So we'll take a look at this. See what what the angle is of this. Okay, so it is dipping 70 degrees. So this is a 70 degree dip, and the direction of the dip is 340 degrees, so almost due north. Okay, and this is a quartzite rock. So a very, very durable, very, very tough. We'll take and try to break a piece off here.
see how hard it is. Okay, so quartzite, small pebbles in here. There's some larger cobbles right here that are like two, three inches in diameter. So this upper, here's cobbles, right here's a cobble. So this is a pebble conglomerate at the contact in here. Uh, lag gravels, here's a quartzite, or a quartz particle here, here's a quartz particle. So a lot of little quartz nodules caught up in this. So we'll take a look at this in the microscope later. I'll hang on to this. Then let's turn around and just go back about uh, 20 feet here to the deadwood and we'll take and measure the deadwood and see what it's doing here. Okay, so here's the deadwood. And right here's the bedding plane of the deadwood. So much, much different. It's probably so flat I'm not going to be able to get a good measurement on it. That's probably pretty close right in there. It's about the best I'm going to get. And this is now at uh, 18 degrees. So 70 degree dip on the Precambrian, 18 degree dip right here. And this dip direction is roughly uh, 30 degrees, so a little bit to the east of north, which is about where this should be going as well. Okay, so this basal deadwood can be quite durable. It can actually be a quartzite as well as a sedimentary rock. We refer to that as an ortho quartzite. Yeah, it sounds like it. Tremendously strong. Very, very similar looking to the Precambrian quartzite below it. Again, we'll take a look at this in the, in the microscope later. I'll take a quick peek right here. Oh, it smells like flint as I've been banging on it. And this is, this is a quartzite, ortho quartzite. Beautiful crystalline quartz grains. And the breakage is across the grains. So like I say, we'll take a look at this in the microscope later, and it'll be in the video here after this segment.
Okay, so we will get on the great unconformity, this pre cambrian contact in a couple of different locations and look at the difference in characteristics of the Deadwood formation as we move around the locality in the Black Hills. <laughs> 